In this video, I've prepared innovative mods for a more futuristic combat experience or an upgraded rifle combat experience. From new rifles to bug fixes and visual upgrades, I've meticulously curated a diverse range of mods across various fields. Without further ado, let's dive into the video. First, let me introduce the Disk Cache Enabler. Disk Cache Enabler is a backport version of a Starfield plugin that optimizes disk access, enhancing the game's performance, and allowing for faster weapon retrieval. It's particularly effective when using an HDD. Given Fallout 4's tendency for long loading times, trying out this mod might just be the solution you're looking for. Next up is the Cyberpunk 2077 Malorian Arms 3516. This mod not only incorporates the existing Cyberpunk 2077 Malorian Arms animations, but also adds Johnny Silverhand's firearms from Cyberpunk 2077. While the previous Cyberpunk 2077 Malorian Arms animations were tailored for the Fallout 4 10mm pistol, this mod enables these animations for the Malorian Arms 3516 firearm. This means you can now use this firearm with the animations from Cyberpunk 2077's Malorian Arms. Through this mod, you can experience the perfect rendition of Cyberpunk 2077's Malorian Arms right in the Commonwealth. Next, we have Fallout Emotions. This mod adds various emotions to deceased individuals, enhancing immersion. With this mod, the deceased won't just peacefully lie with closed eyes and a serene expression. Instead, emotions like surprise, fear, and pain will be etched onto their faces. However, please note that the advanced animation framework, which this mod is based on, is still in beta. Keep this in mind when using it. Next up is Cautious Third Person Animations. This mod alters the character's movements and postures in third person view. For instance, it makes actions like walking, running, or sneaking with a gun appear more cautious and tense. It offers a range of animations for assault rifles, pistols, shotguns, snipers, and sneak, among others. The creator drew inspiration from Dead Space while crafting these animations. If you find this motion appealing, give it a try. Next up is the Hellstorm Missile Launcher. The Hellstorm Missile Launcher is a mod that recreates the weapon from Fallout 76 in the Commonwealth. This weapon can fire rockets equipped with various warheads, ranging from four to six, delivering explosive and optionally elemental damage. It possesses a unique feature where it is affected by both the explosive ease and heavy gunner perks. The weapon starts appearing in the level lists of the boss and super mutants after completing the reunion's quest. You can also find emblems in some fixed locations and unlock new emblems after joining a faction. Next, let me introduce you to the Vintage Traffic Cone Replacer mod. This mod replaces the traffic cones in the game with new models and textures. While the vanilla cones are red, this mod features a texture that combines both red and yellow. It offers a more diverse and rustic feel compared to the vanilla version, making it an excellent replacer. Give it a try if you're interested. Next up is the Midnight Ride Glitch Finder All-in-One. This mod is essentially a compilation of various bug-fixing mods into one. It addresses issues such as the crossroad problem, where Jackson's caravan gets attacked before Automatron starts. And it also cleans up the large Nuka World bottle in a straightforward and mod-compatible manner. Additionally, it integrates a total of seven bug-fixing mods by the creator Glitchfinder, reducing the number of plugins. If you're looking to fix multiple bugs like these, we recommend the Midnight Ride Glitchfinder. Next up, introducing the new Remington 700 rifle, crafted by Tunks. This rifle encompasses not only the XM2010 rifle mod that Tunks has been working on, but also includes the Remington 700. In a recent update, both the XM2010 and the Remington 700 are available for use. Much like the existing rifles of Tunks, the Remington boasts exceptional aesthetics, along with distinct firing sounds and reload animations. It features a lively gunshot sound and supports a tactical reload animation, along with various optional files, providing a range of functionalities. Furthermore, in a recent update, when used in conjunction with the quick modification weapon, this rifle can be customized on the fly. You can instantly attach a suppressor and laser sight, 
and even switch out the scope or alter the rifle's skin, offering a fantastic array of options. This mod not only supports Toen's rifles, but also a variety of well-known rifles, making it convenient to modify rifles on the go while traversing the Commonwealth Wasteland. Therefore, if you've grown tired of the usual rifles, consider using the Quick Modification Weapon, along with the Remington 700 M24 for a higher quality and more captivating firefighting experience. Continuing with another of Toon's rifles, we have the QBZ-191, 192, and QBU-19 rifles. Those who have been watching my channel for a while are likely familiar with these rifles. The QBZ, in particular, is a high-quality assault rifle. However, one feature has been added to this rifle mod, namely the magnifier on-off function. This feature can be utilized when equipping the Holosun HS510CW HM3X scope on this rifle. It's worth noting that this function is also supported not only on the QBZ, but also on the RU556 assault rifle. Keep in mind, there are quite a few files to install by default. As mentioned earlier, the quick modification weapon is required, along with the optional files, QBZ191, magnifier on off patch, and RU556 magnifier on off patch. Moving to the MCM settings of the quick modification weapon in game, you can register a hotkey to toggle the magnifier on off. Afterward, when you equip the Holosun HS510CW HM3X on the rifle, pressing the hotkey will allow you to switch the magnifier on or off. If you want to use the QBZ or RU556 in a more tactical manner, I recommend trying out this feature. Next, let me introduce a hidden gem for upgrading tactical rifle scopes. It's called Fake Through Scope, a framework that allows patched weapons to simulate a picture-in-picture -picture effect and other visual effects while zooming in the scope, creating the illusion of a magnified view within the screen space. With this mod, you can achieve the magnification effect exclusively within the scope without overly affecting the FOV. This imparts a truly immersive feeling, as if you're genuinely peering through the scope. Isn't it astonishing? Immerse yourself in the charm of this remarkable mod unique to Fallout 4, an experience you won't find in other games. By employing such innovative mods, you'll undoubtedly elevate your Commonwealth combat experience to a whole new level. Lastly, I'd like to introduce an outfit that pairs well with the previously mentioned Malorian Arms. It's called the Cyberpunk Jacket, which adds a cyberpunk-style jacket for female characters. This outfit supports CBBE and Body Slide, allowing for color customization with a total of five options available. Craftable in a chemistry lab, this outfit will give your character an even more cyberpunk-esque feel. Thanks for joining me on this journey through the top 13 must-have Fallout 4 mods for next-gen combat and an enhanced performance experience. Don't forget to hit that like button if you found this video helpful and subscribe for more in-depth mod showcases and gaming content. Until next time, keep surviving in Commonwealth.